We are right now in Washington, D.C. And uh, we're going to have some beautiful, beautiful museum. museum of the Bible. The Bible. Great Look at place. this theater. Look at that. Museum of the Bible. We're, we're going to be talking I about feel something. Jesus. <laughs> you are aware of the tragic news of the plane crash Friday that took the lives of Nathan and Amber Kistler, the Neelands and other friends of theirs. Got a call about 1.25 that morning, and it still seems like a nightmare to me. Steph and I can't even adequately put into words how heavy and broken our hearts are. They were true friends to us. I was just with them about two weeks ago and have communicated since then. Nathan had become not only a friend to me, but like a brother. I told Steph yesterday, I went to the hospital to visit, and I can't even get on an elevator without thinking about him now because we rode so many elevators together up and down on Capitol Hill. I'll always cherish the airplane rides, the elevator rides, the car rides, the miles and miles we walked together, conversations, the laughs. He was a jokester. Even tears we shed. And even two weeks ago, sitting at Reagan National Airport, we had a delay and we sat in a little restaurant for an hour and a half just talking. He and Amber had a true heart for God and people in our nation. I saw it. I witnessed it. We were blessed to have had them here on numerous times. In fact, the Neelands were scheduled to fly back this next Saturday night and be with us next Sunday morning right here on this platform to minister. But somehow God saw fit that he needed them there to sing around the throne of God instead of here in a place of no sorrow, no pain, no sadness, no despair. It was right here, not too awfully long ago, we've got a video of it where Nathan and Amber sung, I've just seen Jesus. That song has come to pass in their life because they have seen Jesus face to face. Hallelujah. The Neelands just released a song, I believe it was written mostly by Bill Gaither, called There's a Hole in the Heart of America. And there is. We need to pray for our nation like never before. But that song is so fitting too because there's a hole in our hearts today because they're not here. That only Jesus can feel right now. And Jesus can feel it, I know. I welcome you guys back on here. If you need to consider subscribing, liking, and also share this video. So we are still mourning and also pay, paying tributes to the legendary family gospel group, you know, gospel family group, the Neelands, who actually perished, passed away in a very devastating and heartbreaking incident that happened as they were heading to Alaska, you know, for an event uh, just a couple of days ago. We saw the three band members their pilot the husband uh, the, the wife of the pilot you know their friends you know um perishing in this very devastating incident uh, that happened a couple of days ago like i've told you and it has been really a couple of tough days you know ever since that tragedy happened we saw so many people actually coming out coming out you know to pay their own tributes the likes of dr harrison friends uh family um and then uh, so many other people on social media they've been coming coming out you know to pay their own tributes after the passing on of these three band members from the uh, gospel uh, family uh, gospel family group that is the Neelands. for me you know 
um, it, it, it's one of those stories you actually uh, f feel very touched on, like you, you feel very emotional doing them ever since I, I saw the breaking news that they had um, three members of the Neelands had been lost in this very devastating plane incident. I was really touched and I had to pray for Autumn, you know, one of the band members who actually did not board this plane and then i had to pray for the souls and of course the friends and the fans because man these were guys who were really very good amber neil and you know one of the people you could listen to there was a, there was a story i was actually reading about it it was um revealed by dr harrison you know over his facebook page saying that at, at some point you know when uh, amber nilan actually um tried to engage in america got talent you know uh, one of the one of one of the um one of the judges um it was a prominent singer who actually told I think it was Gilo, Jennifer Lopez, or someone of that sort, you know, of that level, told uh, uh, Amber Nilan that, you know what, you can do well, you can, st you should start singing secular music, you have a very wonderful voice, and stuff like that. But you know what, Amber Nilan was frank to her and said, I can't do that. No, impossible. I can't do that. You know, <laughs> it, it was really a funny story. It's, you know, she was a person who was very committed to her God. You know, um, she was so much into gospel. She was so much into the church. And of course, we saw um, their own church also paying tributes over the weekend to the three people who actually perished in that plane incident. And of course, um, so many people are still coming out, you know, to pay their own tributes. As we are waiting for the funeral, um, uh, the details were announced. I think it's going to be held on 6th. It will be a Tuesday. And of course, the celebration of life service and the funeral will follow um, still on that same day. So it's been really very, very tough couple of days ever since we lost these guys. And we are still con uh, continuing to pray for them, for the family, for the fans, and everyone who was close to the Neelands. RIP to all the three people who we lost in that incident.